Good evening. My name is Jerry Scarrow, and I'm one of the elders from the Musqueam First Nation. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. Wu for contacting Musqueam and asking for a representative to come and do a welcome to our territory. Um, I had a nice long chat with her last night, and um, I'm looking forward to meeting her. Um, I have just read a little bit of her book, just the introduction, so I'm really not um, familiar with the contents, and I look forward to uh, getting a coffee. So, um, on behalf of Musqueam Chief and Council, the membership, and the elders, I'd like you to welcome you all to the traditional territory of the Musqueam First Nation traditional unceded territory. Musqueam, Saber-Tooth, and Squamish have occupied these lands for thousands and thousands of years. We have historical sites that go back right in the Musqueam area to 10,000 years. Um, our main village at one time was reported to be about 40,000 people. And during the uh, early contact when um, explorers and settlers came, our population went to a total of 98 people. And that time, if she's now, not staying, can we see that she gets her parking money? And also, so uh, and also, um, changes over the last She's not staying, so if you were going to give her a, a coffee. Um, yeah. Okay, well, uh, uh, yeah. Um, I'll give it to her. Um, should, should I give it to her? Yeah, maybe I should give it to her. singled out when they were children to be the carriers of knowledge, a keeper of knowledge. And um, he did that job very well. He kept the knowledge going in our community, in our reserve. And he shared that, had it all recorded throughout the years, and made sure his children knew the history as well. So I'm proud to be Muslim, and I'm very proud and happy to be here. And I hope you enjoy the um, talk tonight. And you um, learn a little bit more about us. I went on Facebook, good old Facebook. Um, and I read this tonight as I was checking on friends there. And it's some of them are more colonialism only benefits the country that rules the indigenous people, not the people itself. And I thought that was a good introduction to this evening. So thank you. Enjoy your night. The um, struggle of First Nations people in Canada to achieve their rights uh, faced with the uh, a legal system imposed by uh, colonials and continuing discrimination. Bree Grace did her LLB at UBC and she obtained her master's in law and her doctorate in law from the Université de Montréal. The book Dancing with, um, Ghost Dancing with Colonialism uh, came about as a result of her PhD thesis and um, uh, I'm sure that you'll find what she has to say tonight fascinating and illuminating, and thanks for being here. Grace? Hello. 